And this just reminds me of being like in Greece or something on holiday, like with my man and I'm drinking white wine all day and he's feeding me grapes. <laughs> we love that. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top scents for summer. I'm really excited about this video. Now it is a bit late, but y'all know, of course, I had to buy some summer fragrances. So I did that last month for my birthday. And today I'm sharing the top scents I've been wearing and some that I need to get into the habit of wearing. These are the sexy stunners, the beautiful, fresh, effervescent scents and everything I'm loving right now. So if you guys would like to see what I'm loving for this summer and what you need, please keep watching. And also, don't forget to leave down below your scent of the day. I'm sure I'll be finding one here to spray today. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start in no particular order and I do have two honorable mentions. So let's just start with what's in front of me. This first scent I have been obsessed with for the past week. I was going through my collection recently to do an overhaul and really just clear out scents that I'm not using anymore. And I rediscovered this baby. So this is Tiziana Terenzi Gold Rose Oud. This is a sexy stunner. It is patchouli, woodsy, spicy, fresh notes. If I could liken it to anything, it almost reminds me of uh, Le Labo's Santal 33, but more sharp and intense. I say it reminds me of Le Labo's Santal 33 because it has that really fresh, woodsy, spicy notes to it. Very masculine though. This is a super masculine of centered sense, but I love it. I love juxtaposing masculinity with with my feminine outfits. And this has been amazing in the summertime. It's also really great if you wanna mix it with something a lot more feminine and sweet. I cannot get enough of this. I will have to say that when I first got it a few years ago, I didn't love it. But now I'm obsessed. Gold Rose Oud. Mm. Okay, my next scent is another wood scent, and this is Zara's Ebony Wood. <sighs> this is a YouTube girl fave. I feel like so many popular YouTubers, influencers love this scent. Ebony Wood is the pink pepper woodsy fresh scent that you didn't know you needed. It is woodsy, it is spicy. Almost reminds me a little bit of 11th Hour from Byredo, which is the only Byredo scent that I own. It has a very sharp, like carrot note almost in it, but carrot I don't believe is one of the notes. It's just very fresh and pink, peppery, and woodsy. This is also a scent that is great for mixing. I'm also getting into fragrance mixing, so let me know if you guys would like a video all about my favorite scents and my mixing concoctions because I've really been enjoying that recently. But this baby is everything, a pink, pepper, fresh, spicy, woodsy dream. Like it's beautiful, I also have the candle and she's a stunner. Okay, my next scent. I always say that this is sexy holiday. <laughs> when I say that, I don't mean like Christmas or anything. We're on holiday as in vacation. This is Tiziana Terenzi's Talea from the Sea Star Collection. Oh my goodness. <sighs> this is a fruity, floral, oody, powdery, intense, sexy, vivacious holiday scent. This is luxury in a bottle, an oody, powdery, fruity, luxurious summer scent. Just makes me feel amazing when I wear it. It is super strong and long lasting. It's intense. I mean, all Tiziana Terenzi fragrances, in my opinion, at least the ones that I've tried are very intense. And I know that the bottle is not gonna be everyone's forte. It's not my favorite, but she is definitely a beautiful stunner. And this just reminds me of being like in Greece or something on holiday, like with my man. And I'm drinking white wine all day and he's feeding me grapes. <laughs> we love that. This is a very expensive fragrance, probably the most expensive in my collection, but when I tell you, she is, she's that it girl for summer, for sure. Okay, my next favorite is a summer staple. This is Giorgio Armani C, and we are saying yes, yes, yes to C. 
Oh, this is a powdery, musky, vanilla, sweet scent. Shines so well in the summertime at night if I'm sitting on a patio. This is like my favorite scent for going out to dinner in the summertime and I'm sitting outside. Men are addicted to this scent because it's sweet, it's feminine, it's musky and floral, but not too musky. It's just absolutely beautiful. It probably has one of the biggest dents in my collection because you guys know I only spray like two to three sprays, but but she is a stunner. I will forever have this in my collection. It's such a beautiful feminine scent. It's sweet. And when you're outside and it's hot in the summertime, oh, this just like, just eat me right on up. This scent is such a beautiful one. My next baby is a newer one in my collection. And this is Parfum de Marly Delina La Rose. And I will actually leave down below my review of this fragrance. I did it at the top of this month. This scent is beautiful. Now, Delina, her older sister, is like the powerhouse from the women's collection of Parfum de Marly. It's the one that everyone has, but it's very, very intense and tart because of that rhubarb note. So I love this one a lot more. It's softer, it's more aquatic, it's a bit more creamy and powdery. Not as powdery as Delina Exclusive, but definitely more powdery and soft than the OG Delina. Oh, this is rose and pear, just musky, white, creamy notes. It's a beautiful, fresh, younger version of Delina. Perfect for the really intense heat of the summer because I think it has like a citrus vibe in it. I'm not sure if citrus is actually a note in it, but the notes combined give me citrus and I feel like citrus scents just shine beautifully in the summertime. I have used a fair amount of it already. For me, that's a lot. <laughs> I've never actually finished an entire bottle of fragrance. And I'm ashamed to say that, but it is what it is. This scent is beautiful and I've been wearing her all summer. Expensive, but well worth it. Okay, my next scent, oh, is one that I loved for spring so much. Victor and Roth's Flower Bomb Nectar. And oh my goodness, sexy and sweet and tart and citrusy. You know, I was never the biggest fan of the OG Flower Bomb scent. It's a little too spicy and sharp for me, but this is citrusy and beautiful. It reminds me of a sweet tart. It has osmanthus and gunpowder. Oh, it's so tart and beautiful. This is another one of those scents that's great for wearing when you're outside because that citrus, I think it also has like orange blossom in it. It radiates on your skin so well when it's hot out. A beautiful scent. I love it 100 times more than the original Flower Bomb. Can't go wrong with this. My next scent is a newer one in my collection and I think I'm gonna wear this today. This is Louis Vuitton Le Jour Celeve. Mm. Ooh. Le Jour Celeve means as the day begins, and this is the epitome of the beginning to your day. It is beautiful and bright and citrusy, maybe a little bit of jasmine in here, a little bit of a creamy dry down, but it's very citrus forward, like nothing else I have in my collection. It's almost like Dolce & Gabbana's light blue, but a more elevated, sophisticated version of it. It just smells like waking up in your husband's white crisp t-shirt. I mean, she is everything. This is definitely as the day begins. It's a softer scent. Soft in the same realm as the Delina La Rose, although this is a bit more sharp. But it's one of those scents that's very easy to wear. Something that's not really offensive. Something that's really great for the super hot weather. Because let's face it. I don't always wanna smell this on and sharp and beautiful. Sometimes I want something a little more subtle and this is everything. Le Jour Celeb from Louis Vuitton as the day begins and you can begin your day beautifully and wrapped up in a man, hello. <laughs> okay, my next scent is one of my favorite scents for summer for sure. Moogler's Angel Nova. Uh, and this is fruity, floral, patchouli, and oud. It reminds me of raspberry and rose and oud. It's a really pretty fruity floral that's not juvenile. It's very intense and feminine, but that oud makes it very striking. I wanna say it possibly has some patchouli in it as well. A fresh, fruity, just powerhouse. This is one of those scents that I also love wearing to the pool because it really radiates in that hot, intense weather. It 
it, it just, I am obsessed with this. To me, this smells nothing like the OG Angel. So I don't know how this is a flanker of the original because to me, they smell nothing alike. This is a little more toned down, but I love it so much. And how cute is the bottle? I just love it. So beautiful for summer. Okay, we're winding down a bit. Another one of my newer scents. This is Zerjoff's Overture. It's either Overture or Uberture. I'm not exactly sure. I just picked this one up for my birthday. <sighs> mm, okay. Very complex. I get caramel, citrusy notes, maybe oud, ylang ylang, orange blossom, maybe, and jasmine. It's a very fruit forward oud scent that just smells luxurious, but it also has a spiciness to it. And I wasn't expecting the spiciness at first. So when I first try this on, I get a huge bursting of cinnamon that I don't particularly care for, but it does tend to wear off pretty, pretty easily, I think. This just smells opulent beautiful, luxurious, a fruity, floral, kind of androgynous scent that has a really spicy note of cinnamon. It's very interesting. I didn't expect it to smell like this. I did have a sample, but the sample smells nothing like what this smells like out of the bottle and onto my own skin. I love this so much. It's very androgynous. I love a masculine or an androgynous scent. Beautiful, it's a heavy hitter. This also just reminds me of a really luxurious vacation, although I'm wearing this all summer even though I'm not going on vacation. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, I think because of that very sharp, spicy cinnamon note at first, but it dries down to be so much more soft and beautiful, but very, very androgynous even leaning a little more masculine in my opinion. Okay, and the last proper fragrance is another more masculine one. It's so interesting because you would think in the summertime, like clearly I'm wearing bright colors, bright lipstick, but I love the juxtaposition of a masculine scent. I think there's nothing more sexy than a woman who's dressed very feminine with a masculine scent. I just love it. So my next one and my last fragrance is Chanel's Coco Noir. And I always find this one so interesting because when I look up the notes, it says that this is like a fresh fruity scent with a little bit of floralness to it. But I just get patchouli and amber. This is a patchouli amber powerhouse. If you love patchouli like I do, you will probably love this. I like to wear it when I'm going out, maybe for like a date night or out with friends. Anytime I'm out at night and it's hot, this just makes me feel like like that woman, or another word. It just makes me feel so powerful because this scent is so masculine to me. Not sweet at all. I do believe there's a note of apple, but I don't smell it at all. This is just masculine and fresh and peppery and beautiful. I love it. Very, very masculine though. <laughs> so be mindful of that. Okay, and my two honorable mentions are fragrances but they're not Eau de Parfums or Eau de Toilettes. So first is my favorite body splash, and I will, I'm not a body splash kind of gal, but this is amazing. Brazilian Crush from Sol de Janeiro, and this is in Beja Flor. Now I will be the 100th and one person to say, this smells like Baccarat. Now I did try the body cream during the Sephora sale in November, last November. To me, I don't know if the jar had been open too long or what have you, that didn't smell too much like Baccarat, but this is Baccarat. It's Baccarat, it's Baccarat, it's Baccarat. Ooh, Baccarat with a more fruity essence, but it dries down to be 98.9% .9 Baccarat. I love this because I can wear it to bed, the pool. Mm. I can wear it running errands and I don't feel like I'm wasting a 300 and something dollar bottle of fragrance. So this is a mist that you can use in your hair and on your body. I am obsessed. She's such a good one. And my last honorable mention is a body oil, Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc Shimmering Body Oil. 
Now I'm probably one of the only people who's an influencer who's into fragrance who does not own Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford. I just don't think it's worth it. It's very common in terms of you can find a lot of scents to give you that same essence that are not that expensive that also last longer. But the body oil you need. If you're going on vacation or if you're like myself and you can't yet go on vacation and you just want to smell amazing and glow and be a bronzed goddess and look like Mary J. Blige, you need this like y'all know my goal even though it never happens is to always look like Mary J Blige because oh she, she's just gorgeous like I always want to look like her it's not gonna happen but this gives me a beautiful glow it's also a body oil and it smells like Soleil Blanc. Soleil Blanc to me is that sunscreen nutty type of scent. I do like it, but it's just way too expensive. So I picked this up a few years ago and I love it. This is a nice way to also travel with your fragrance and not feel like, uh-oh, what if something breaks? Because I think this is like around $50 or a little cheaper. So if anything happened to it while I was traveling, I really wouldn't be that mad, but love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely let me know down below what are some of your top scents for summer. Summer. Do you love any of the ones I have? Or maybe they're on your list, let me know. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.